Hi, this tutorial covers my two loves, 3D animation and not paying for things. Make sure to like and subscribe because every time you do, I make this noise. So I'm going to go over how to take hair props from a free legal site into Character Creator from a base program and then save that uh, hair as a prop in your Character Creator menu. So you only need to set this up one time per prop and then have everything work so well that physics can be applied to that hair once you've installed it into iClone. The first thing you need to do is have your hair prop downloaded and ready to go in a lower level program. I'm using Daz 3D, but this works really well for anything like Blender, Poser, anything like that. It works just fine. The main reason for this program is to get it loaded and then exported into an FBX format and make sure that your export settings are the same as I have here. If you're wondering where I go to get, again, legal free downloads, I like sharecg.com for most of the hairstyles I use. This site is just great. Now, once you're in Character Creator, you are going to need the uh, extension Character Creator Pipeline. If you don't have that extension, I cannot rec recommend it enough. It will pay for itself many, many times over, largely because of techniques like this. And on top of that, at the end of the day, your characters will just look a lot better than if you would use 3D Exchange. Now, starting out here from the Character Creator homepage, go up here to the Create menu. And this is one of the areas that people get stuck when they're using a free prop. If something that's designed for Character Creator works really smooth, you click on Cloth Hair and Accessories for FBX Key. But when you do that, it'll ask for files and uh, basically backup information that you may or may not have access to. The way around that is to click just below it here as an Accessories, find the file that you want to export, and then it loads with no further problems. Now it's time to teach Character Creator how to understand the prop. First, you need to get it into the right position on the head. I just use the default character here. And whenever you load it, I guarantee it's going to be in the wrong position and it's extremely important you take your time to get this right. Once you have it in the correct position, go over here to your Modify menu and click Create Hair, Brows, and Beard. Then you get this message wanting you to reset facial expressions. I don't know why, just push yes. Now because this is kind of middle length hair, not fantastically long, I'm going to click on Base All. And that's usually the one I click on, but there are circumstances where you may have to choose a different option to get the result you want. Push apply and then close. Now go to content, this hair icon, custom. Push this little plus menu with the hair highlighted. So now this is in your character creator menu. And from here on out, you have this prop. You don't need to go through all this over and over again for the exact same product. Now I'm going to highlight the entire character, go to File and Export to iClone. Now if I did my job right, I should be able to apply physics to the hair so it will move naturally and automatically when this character moves. How to apply physics and a weight map to hair is, <laughs> is another video, and I'm assuming you're going to know how to do that. This is mostly about getting the free products, so I'm just going to rush through this. I'm going to apply just a simple dance move here just because I can. And it's looking pretty good. So this is how I have saved a ton of money of not having to download really expensive uh, hairstyles. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments or, let's be real, straight up abuse, that's what the comment section is for, right? So I hope this helps you out, and thanks again.